Hi, I'm Sam Gosling and this is my social media campaign on Cake Expectations. My business is Cake Expectations. It is a standalone business run from home. It's a homemade bakery that sells cakes, brownies, cupcakes and traditional English desserts. I'll be creating my accounts and websites with the goal of raising general awareness of cake expectations and bringing them more traffic. These are my campaign objectives. I, I managed to successfully achieve all my objectives. In this presentation, I will cover how I achieved these and provide evidence for my objectives. These are my key performance indicators, KPIs. I am using a traffic light system to show progress on my KPIs. I will show you how I achieved these KPIs later on in the presentation with some analysis and figures from my social media accounts. My proposed social media channels are a Facebook page, an Instagram page and a website. I chose a Facebook page as the average Facebook user is 40 and 65% of users on Facebook are 35 or older. This means I can reach a more mature demographic with disposable income, which is an ideal audience for cake expectations to hit. I also chose Instagram to help target a slightly younger demographic, and I believe that Instagram has the best platform out of all social media to display and show off photos and videos of cake expectations delicious products. Lastly, I chose to include a website to give cake expectations a more professional look and tie off their web presence nicely. Halfway through analysis. Two weeks into my, my campaign, I fe felt things were going reasonably well, but I did notice that my Instagram was doing better than my Facebook. To try to combat this, I focused more on my Facebook page by being active on Facebook Messenger and interact interacting with other bakeries and cake companies on Facebook. My Instagram work page was averaging a reach of 60 users and I finished the two weeks with 21 followers whereas my Facebook page had 5 likes and 10 followers with an average reach of 5 users at the end of the two weeks. A great feature I noticed that seemed to help with the overall traffic and page man management a lot was a feature from Instagram which linked to my Facebook and allowed me to link all my Instagram posts to my Facebook page. This helped a lot with keeping my posts fairly regular and advertising my Instagram. As I got further into my campaign, I noticed I found it increasingly hard to post something relevant and interesting without the help of a season, seasonal event or time of year. I believe this is the main factor that held me back during this process. I would have to put it down to the fact that unfortunately the owner was hardly busy around the time of my campaign and was not making many products for me to capture and post. Despite this, I still believe I managed to do a good job of posting and engaging users. This was my social media plan and I managed to follow this completely and accurately throughout two to three weeks of the process but on the final week I did struggle to post and so did not follow it. Overall I think the plan was a good guide and definitely helped me to post more successfully. When it came to legal and ethical concerns I did not really face any issues at all. There was one thing that I had to be slightly careful with and that was my website as when I was uh, creating it, I had to insert a pop-up message about cookies as my website was using cookies. But I inserted this whilst I was making it and that was all sorted. At the end of the four weeks, I managed to fully achieve four out of seven KPIs and partially achieve three out of seven KPIs. I did not fail any of my KPIs. My website gained 12 visits I did create a Facebook page, but but only gained six followers and five likes. My Instagram page finished with 33 followers and around 60 likes. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, I found it progressively harder to post and only ended up posting five times on Facebook and Instagram. But I did gain a total of 12 referrals to my website, 10 from Instagram and two from Facebook. Overall, I think I did well on my KPIs and I do not feel, feel I felt that, do not feel I set any too high or too low. Overall, I believe my social media campaign was successful for a number of reasons. I achieved most of my KPIs, a number of objectives were achieved, 
an inquiry about some products being made came as a result of my social media and website. And Cake Expectations now has a good, current and relevant online pre preference presence that they can work with and increase if they want to. My Facebook page was nowhere near where I expected it to get to and I was disappointed with it, but I believe surprises and challenges like this come hand in hand with creating an online presence, especially from scratch. I am very happy with the impact and the reach that my Instagram and website have had. Instagram even exceeded my expectations towards the end of the four weeks. Looking forward, if Cake Expectations wants to carry on expanding online and create an even better web presence, they should look to work on their SEO and general search rankings as the results for Cake Expectations are very dilute due to it being a popular cake name business. They may also want to invest in an individual to run and maintain their social media and website to keep them effective, current and up to date. Thank you for listening. I'll be happy to take any questions now. Good, well done. Um, in terms of what you could do in the future, is there anything you could do to engage more people with Facebook? Um, I think definitely, I didn't run any competitions over the four weeks that I, um, that I had the social media pages, so I think that would definitely be a good idea. And uh, it would be more effective, especially now that it's actually up and running and we've got a few followers, so the competition would actually, you know, there'd be people for a competition to happen. Good. When um, initially researching, what did you notice that competitors were using was effective? Um, I noticed quite a lot of cake uh, businesses had a Facebook page, um, but obviously I tried to uh, run them as well, but my Instagram turned out to be much more effective. Um, and so I just, I, I, don't, I don't really know because I, I did look at what the competitors were looking at and it seemed to be Facebook and some of them had a website, but i What about what they were posting? Because I think mean, content was a um, struggle. Was there any particular content they were posting that you could have used as well? I think, I think like I said, I could have posted um, more photos of like uh, the products and stuff like that, but unfortunately there wasn't a lot of uh, opportunities for me to take photos of the products because there weren't that many being made. And was there a particular hashtag on Instagram that you found you were using? Yeah, I, um, on most of my posts I used um, like hashtag cake, hashtag uh, homemade, uh, hashtag traditional because I wanted to um, get across that it's sort of like it's meant to be a business that's like homemade cakes, like homemade authentic taste. Thank you, well done. Looks so strong.